Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel again today. We're back on GT Sport and we're back with a race that was taken from quite a few weeks ago in an FIA race in the Ferrari F50 at Dragon Trail Seaside. It wasn't just a single make race but the majority of people chose to drive the F50. There was a few other cars that people did drive as well. And um, This race, the TX3, TX3 driver starting from pole position, I was starting from P2. You can see mainly F50s at the front of the field. We got away nice and easy obviously from the rolling start and first of all, just trying to stay in the slip room. Now this race was extremely enjoyable. I've waited for a bit obviously to upload it because I didn't want to upload two races from a similar track um, combination that we just uploaded. So this was about, I think it was about three weeks or longer ago that we uploaded this FIA race as we see very close at the front already at the start. Obviously with the slipstream on week, you tend to see that it's quite hard to get away from another car slipstream. So when you're about, I think it's about, eight, nine tenths behind you, pick up a really strong draft from the car in front. So it's gonna be really important to try and break the slipstream to them two F50s behind me and stay in the slipstream of the TX3 driver and see if we can make a move on that TX3, TX3 driver in P1. You can see with that TX3 livery on it. We're pushing really hard at the moment. Now this was our warm up race. As you see, a massive moment for that F50 going through the fast left hand. They ran a little bit wide onto the gravel, nearly lost the rear, but just about saved it and kept going you see they're still in the slipstream so got away with that one as we go through into the chicane of death we call it you know this chicane really does catch out a lot of people and especially in cars like this where the grip is not as high as you'd like but i think we had reasonably grippy tires on for this race they weren't as soft as um, weren't as sorry as um hard as normal i think they i think they were a sports soft tires for this race if i remember right we'll see when we get onto the cockpit view in a moment as we go into the final corner there really in the slipstream now of the tx3 driver yeah you can see there we got sports soft tires on as he has a massive moment there he goes a little bit deep into the corner and the rears lock up a bit and he manages to square the car off though and get really good exit speed one thing that he was doing with the gear shifting which i've actually seen later on i was wondering why he was gaining speed on me it's because he was really revving it out it to a point where it was nearly on the limiter and when it kind of hit the limiter he was changing gear and it was basically giving him a, a massive boost in each gear change now i wasn't aware of this at this point um and even in the actual fia race i've only just spotted it when i've been going through the replay that it seemed to benefit the f50 to do that as we get really close looking back on ourselves there um again i love looking at them views on gt sport looking back on um, yourself driving on this game especially at this track at, at this time setting it looks really um, amazing this game as you see they're going through uphill section now are we going to be able to get close up we got very close there but again on acceleration we're going to lose a little bit of speed as we go on to the downhill section now and you see there again looking at the replay camera i love that replay camera there watching the cars go past there down into the really fast flowing chicane this um it's basically a flat out chicane where you're taking it in third or fourth gear in this car up to fourth gear now trying to pick up the slipstream as we go into the heavy braking zone in a minute are we going to be able to get alongside to make a move you can see not really close enough to throw it up the inside so again we're going to just brake nice and early and try and pick up a really good exit you see using all the curb on the left hand side to try and get it as close to that apex as possible and then get on the power nice and early as the tx3 driver in front runs a little bit wide and we're really close to the slipstream now right behind them this sometimes is not preferential when you're this close to a driver in front because going through this chain of death this close to another car is really tricky as you see looking back on ourselves turning it in extremely early because I, I was worried about hitting the wall and nearly clipping the wall on the inside as we had a little look up on the inside there are we gonna have another little look yeah we're gonna have another little look on the inside now however we're not gonna go for the move we're gonna break a little bit early and try and take a wider line and cut back to get a move done on the straight let's see if this works as we get on the power nice and early but the rear steps out and we nearly lose control of the car but just about hold on to it and lose a little bit of acceleration from that moment there where the rear just lost a bit of traction and that costs us the ability to get into the slipstream fully to make a move into turn one so again holding on to p2 at this stage we've already got rid of the slipstream to the drivers behind so it's just it's just the 1v1 at the moment between myself and the tx3 driver both in the ferrari f50 and this race is going to be getting very very close and um, you can see now pushing as hard as i can there he's going over the dust kicking up the dust on that corner as we go through that um, little dust cloud into these two right hand goal very tricky corner this um with low grip cars because you have to get on the brakes very early to try and hook the car up to the apex end and get on the power as early as possible i do love that corner though um with these cars it was really enjoyable when you got it right it really felt nice 
as we go down the downhill section. And again, this was a very tricky corner where you had to be very cautious. You don't go in too aggressive, otherwise you ran really wide. We hooked that up quite nicely that time and picking up the slipstream as we go up the hill now, up shifting into fourth gear and seeing if we can pick that slipstream up again. And you see on the gear shift, he was definitely gaining time on me on every gear shift. Some of the corners though, we were gaining some of the time back in, especially, uh, in braking zones and on the initial power inputs on the car we started to gain a bit again we're getting very close there he looks like he cut that corner very slightly but just got away without picking up a penalty i think there as again we're going through into the chicane of death a corner that will catch you out like i say it is so easy to make a mistake on this corner as you see i tended to run wide and then chuck it in and try and just be as like safe as possible without risking too much and again the TX3 driver kicking up the spark says he runs into the wall a bit. We tapped it, but not quite as hard as the TX3 driver. That's why we've managed to gain a bit of time now into the braking zone for the final corner. Um, again, I'm going to take that really wide line and try and cut back as again he takes that unusual line where he brakes very deep and then squares the car off and gets on the power. Now that's enabled me to get, really get close to the slipstream now. But again, look at the gear changing. Every gear change he was just pulling away because he was doing the, um, the, the, the shift changes right on the limiter and it was gaining time with that ferrari f50 so next time this car pops up it's something that i will practice trying to find the exact spot to change gear because it definitely boosts you forward a little bit as we go into the braking for again another very tricky corner of this if you go in too strong you can run wide onto the curb there and it totally upsets the car's handling and then you have to be patient before getting on the throttle but we're both doing that very nice at this stage and again at the moment not too much overtaking we're just basically, I'm trying to size up where I can make a move at this stage, you know, thinking about where is he weak, where is the opportunity going to come, is he going to make a mistake, you know, there's not really been much opportunity for me to throw the car on the inside or anything at the moment, we could have done it on one corner, where, uh, on the final corner for one lap, but I felt like it would have probably not worked out too well anyway, because I would have been slower on the power, I went for the option of trying to get the better exit, which ended up not really working out too well, because we lo nearly lost a rear as we went through that final corner, but so far, it's still a very close race, and this is this is why I love playing G Sport. You know, this is an open lobby. This was not an FIA race. This was not a sport mode race. This was just an open lobby with subscribers coming in, and we always do it before FIA races. We have a practice um, as much as possible. Not we don't tend to do it every single race, but whenever we get chance, I always like to give. Um, channel subscribers etc the chance to practice the strategy work out the tire wear work out the cars and stuff and in this race you can see it's led to a very good battle between myself and p1 at this stage we've managed to pull that lead away from the other drivers you can see on the mini map we've got about a two three maybe four second gap down to p3 and p4 etc as i think they're battling away also as we go through the final corner and again trying to get a strong exit it was really important that's where i was trying the real main overtaking place on this track is into turn one as he looks like he missed the shift there slightly possibly um trying to push it as close to the limiter as possible went a little bit too aggressive and now we're going to be able to make a move into turn one as you see going side by side we're going to have to go on the inside which then gives us the outside for technically turn two but is he going to be able to hold that no we managed to break really late and cut across the tx3 driver and get ourselves into p1 as you see then in the distance the two other f40s but i'm um, sorry f50s battling away behind us and staying around four seconds three three maybe three seconds four seconds behind us as now i'm into p1 and now we've got to see if we can hold on to this position to the end and um, it's going to be very tricky obviously with the gear shifting that that driver is doing the tx3 driver he is gaining time on pretty much every shift so on the straights you will see the difference between the slipstream effect with his shifting compared to my shifting but this is again he didn't someone said that he didn't actually have the shifter on he was just doing it with the paddle shifter but because he was taking it right to the limiter it was boosting that f50 forward so it's, again it's something that next time this car comes up we will definitely practice and try and get perfect as again look at the speed at the top of the hill he's able to go for a move on that left hand side because of that extra straight line speed he's getting from taking the limit the limiter right to the end we're going to hold the inside line and try and fend him off and make him go around the long way and he's not able to do that there he's going to try and cut back on the inside but again he's not able to make that move so again we're in p1 still and now going through the chicane of death and not really an over overtaking opportunity through these corners most drivers will just sit back and hold on as we go right through there right to the limit very close to the wall 
and just about get away without hitting the wall there and keep this P1 and actually hold a little bit of a gap now going into the final corner. So he's not going to be able to make a move in the final corner. However, is he going to line his car up for the overtake? He breaks very late again, then losing the rear slightly, but then he kind of does it on purpose to square the car off and then gets on the power really, really um, like well compared to us. Because you have to be so careful getting on the power in that final corner while you're gradually putting the steering inputs in with the F50. It does tend to lose the rear a bit. But because he's squaring the car off, he's then able to pick up the slipstream with that extra shift in revs that he's doing. And again, look, he's in the position to make a move. We're going to make him go around the outside. Is he going to be able to do a similar thing to what we just did to him? Yeah, he's managed to cut across us an identical move to what we did on the uh, a few laps back. And he's up into P1 now as we start the lap six now with just four laps to go in this race. So very close racing and this is really enjoyable stuff on gt sport and like i say this is why we we all love playing gt sport because this is this is the type of racing you get in the fia top split races pretty much every race you know really close for battling overtaking etc as we go down the hill now into the fast flowing left hand and then the right hand the left right left corners um really technical this because if you go in too deep like i said before you risk of, you run the risk of running wide there and having to go over the curb which then unsettles the car and you can actually pick up a penalty on them so you have to be really careful as we work up the hill now down into the braking for the next corner at the right hand up front as he ran a little bit wide they're losing a bit of speed down the straight but again we're not close enough to make a move i'm not going to throw it on the inside there we're going to again use all the full width for the track and try and get a solid exit from this corner and be as close as possible as we come out of the chicane of death to see if we can make a move into that final corner that was a corner that i felt like there was an opportunity to get past him sometimes because he seemed quite weak um at, from from this part of the corner Get in terms of the power he took through here so the speed he took through there again you can see we managed to take more speed and we're going to be able to have a little look are we going to be able to have a little look on the right hand side we're going to pull out to the right and are we going to be able to outbreak him into the final corner we're alongside him is he going to break late like he normally does he breaks very late we both break late we give him the space so on the outside onto the power and just about take that lead back as we're about to start um, lap seven. So with just three laps to go, we managed to take the lead back. So a very close race this with a, a lot of lead swapping now in these last few laps. And again, he's gonna be able to make a move now into turn one. Is he gonna be able to get this move done? As we try and make him go around the long way, he's got the inside line. We're gonna to have to try and break really late on the outside. Are we gonna be able to do this? A very hard thing to do is breaking late around there. As we go through the corner side by side, giving each other enough space, and just about holding on to that position in, and taking a, the lead through the corner. So again, we're gonna jump back on board now. As we look in the mirror, you can see how close he is. Great racing so far in this race. Um, just try and hold on now to this P1. This is, you can see both of us trying to be a bit more aggressive with the overtaking now, obviously, because the last few laps, you wanna be in the lead as much as possible. It, isn't an, it wasn't as an easy track to overtake, but there was opportunities. So you can see again, he's gonna try and line that car up to get a move done with that extra speed that he carries down the straights again i'm going to try and defend as much as i can right to the end of this race as we work up the hill now and then into the braking for the tight right hand corner this is where he tended to gain a lot of speed look in the mirror and just look how his car becomes bigger and bigger and bigger is he going to be able to make a move i go to the middle of the track just in case he's thinking of it but no he's not close enough to make a move into this braking zone for this right hand corner but again is he going to try and get close out of the chicane of death again we managed to get on the power really nicely there and actually build a lead up and he nearly loses control if you look in the mirror then you would have seen the rear of his car going really loose as he's getting on the power and that gives us a little bit of a gap now as we go through this really fast chicane and we managed to do that reasonably well he does it reasonably well as well he actually picks up a really solid exit off that corner this time and he's picking up the slipstream you can see myself go into the right hand side of the track to try and break the slipstream and then back over to the left luckily he's not going to be able to make a move into the final corner but is he going to go for that really late um, on the brakes and try and square it off again this time he takes it a little bit similar to us but again because of that he nearly loses the rear but we run a little bit wide which is going to give him a bit of momentum now down into turn um, turn one well technically turn two like i say it's not really a full corner this one up here but it is technically turn one as you watch now from his perspective is he going to go for a move we're going to go defensive to the left he's going to try and go around the outside now on the right hand side he's not able to do it this time we break a little bit late to try and fend that off which gives him the the, the momentum through the corner and now he's going to be on the inside are we going to be able to cut back across the track 
And no, we're not going to be able to cut across his line because we would have took him out if we did. He's going to go on the inside and try and make that move on the inside. And he does that and puts himself back into P1. So uh, some great racing going on here now as we approach. We're in the start of lap eight and just two laps to go now. Again, I'm trying to get a really good exit from that corner. Can we make a move now and see if we can get back ahead of this Ferrari F50? This is great racing. Like I say, um, the reason why we play GT Sport is because of racing like this. Clean, respectful and just great fun. Um, some cars, like I really enjoy driving this F50, I have to say. As he missed the shifts on his gear shift there. He actually missed the shift and that's given me the opportunity to get myself back into P1 and starting that we're going to be going into the final lap in p1 possibly now is he going to try and make the move there he's going to break late but he decides not to go for that move you could see he was thinking about it but one thing with these road car road cars are you have to be very cautious on the brakes because if you miss your braking slightly they're very hard to slow down as we go through now again for the second to last time the chicane of death always tricky when you're in a, a pressure situation you know you don't want to hit the wall we managed to do that nicely this time and again he looks like he lost a little bit of time, possibly hit the wall then on the left-hand side, losing a bit of momentum now into the final corner, which has given us a bit of a gap. Is he going to go for that late break? Let's have a little look in the mirror. Look how late he breaks. He's really slid the car in there. He's gone for that, that approach of squaring it off, and the advantage that gives him is it gets him back into the slipstream. And then with the shifting that he does, will he be able to make a move? I'm going to go to the right-hand side of the track to try and lose that slipstream, but you can see, look how much speed he gains down the straights because he's taken that rev limiter all the way to the maximum and we're going to go to the left hand side now to try and cover the inside and let him take the inside for that corner but then the outside for turn two as we try and hold him off on the outside there you can see we managed to break really late again um, is he going to be able to get the cut back now we get on the power reasonably well with the line that we took we're going to have to go defensive so we're going to cut over to the right hand side of the track so that he can't take that inside line and get into p1 like he did on the previous lap and we're going to try and hold him off on the outside is he going to be able to go around the outside we're giving the space on the outside some amazingly clean driving between both of us there um, no contact made enough racing room for both of us and we hold on to p1 so amazing racing to watch this is again like it really does sum up gt sport when it's at its best and look again side by side he's gonna try and do the cut back and make me take a narrow line which he does make me take that wider line and he takes a narrow line this is going to give him the momentum at the top of the hill is he going to be able to go for a move into the heavy braking zone at the end of this straight you can see how wide we're running we're on the limit there luckily it doesn't look like he's going to be able to go for the move, or is he? he's got the slipstream we're going to go to the right hand side he's not going to be able to go on the inside i'm going to make sure he goes all the way around the outside as much as possible got to hook this corner up now and get on the power as much as possible as we got on the power nicely using the full width for the track and i think there was a little bit of a lag spike there you can see actually i think i don't know what happened but he, his car just boosted forward hit the rear of mine but um i think it, it's possibly the gear shifting that he just got more momentum out of that corner but luckily he didn't try and turn it into an overtake, he just kind of bump drafted us. As we go through that final chicane, um, the, the chicane of death for the final time now, are we going to be able to hold on to this lead? He's going to have to go for a really aggressive approach this final corner. Look in the mirror now, he goes really late on the brakes. Is he going to be able to do not? He goes too late on the brakes. Car sliding through the final corner for the final time now. And we've managed to hold on to a P1 in a really entertaining race. Now, this race didn't mean anything. It wasn't FIA. This was an open lobby race, but it was so enjoyable to be involved with. And that, again, sums up GT Sport. Like I say, great racing, thoroughly enjoyable. And again, in a road car, I do, I do have so much fun in the road cars once I'm used to the combinations especially when you're in a battle with someone fairly evenly matched so that was really fun i hope you enjoyed that video i thoroughly enjoyed watching it back again and uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and click that notification button so you don't miss any future videos thanks again for watching everyone